Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are not new here, welcome back. I am putting on today's video. I know I'm talking ungodly fast, but we are leaving to go school supply shopping right now, and we have like a tight limit because we're going during my mom's lunch break. Anyway, um, so I just checked. I'm filming like four videos at once, so excuse me if I mention stuff I'm not supposed to. I'm going off topic or anything like that. But I wrote to it on my list, and. I just need to double check, bring a pen, and mark off stuff that I have and what I don't have and what I need. Because I just checked like my bin of stuff from last school year and you know, previous school years that I didn't use. So, we're going to go school supply shopping at Target right now. And we're going to switch from camera footage to phone footage. So, let's go school supply shopping and I'll do a haul when we get back. Let's go. We're at Target. back from school supply shopping so I'm gonna show you guys first I'm gonna tell you guys what was on my list and then I'm gonna tell you guys what I had left over from last school year I'm just gonna use this here and then show you guys the new stuff I bought and we have only one bag full so I think I did pretty darn well okay right, so things I needed this school year was expo markers <laughs> Um, some of the stuff I did have at home, I had a notebook that was regular, I had that at home. And then I got, uh, I also ordered my file footers off of Amazon. And I ended up only getting one file footer. So, first off, this is my French dictionary that I'm going to need again this year. We love it, thank you. Know. Um, I, this is, no, that's my history notebook from last year. This is my one regular notebook that I have. I also have a regular spiral notebook in case I prefer that. I'm just gonna take everything out because this bag is gonna stay out for a while. So I also have a regular spiral notebook in here that I bought last year. Um, so I just kind of have to like sort through. I have a folder that I didn't use last year. This is my cute for yourself notebook. I have my pencil pouch from last year that is just going to be used for like my pens and st or my pencils and just to grab and go. Because you guys don't know me, I um, use two pencil cases. I know it's weird. Um, my other one broke, so I had to get a new one. But I use two pencil pouches because I like having one for all my colored pens and everything, and one for everything else. Um, I got my ruler. I have a bunch of index cards in here. Calculators, more paper and stuff like that. So a lot of things and more stuff for my lockers. So we're just gonna go through and see what we need, label everything and decide what gets to stay in here. So I'll show you guys the first things that we bought. First off, I got a three subject notebook and this is for AP World. Oh my God, I just realized this is wide ruled. Oh crap. So, I got this three wide ruled apparently notebook for AP World. I'm mad it's wide ruled. Dang it. Whatever, it's fine. It has a bunch of paper in it, 150 sheets, and I also have backup notebooks in case. So, that is for AP World. I got that. I got these paper mags felt tip pens. I got black, green, blue, red, purple, and gray. So that's good. I got a pencil pouch for all my pens. And there's like cheaper ones, but like this one's really pretty. So I was like, oh, please. So I got this one. It's blue. It has flowers on it. So yeah. So I for all my pens. And like I said, this is for someone from last year. Um, then I got this one subject college ruled notebook and this has 100 sheets in it and this is going to be for um chem so got this purple and then i got two smaller college ruled notebooks um and classes for these are still to be determined um I, one of these is going to be 
for English. Um, but it's gonna be probably either for English or French. So maybe I'll make one for I'll make this one for French. No, actually we'll make this one for algebra too, and then this one for French. Four. So that's what we got. And if I need one for English, like I said, I have like composition notebooks and all that stuff. I can deal with that later. All right, so that's all the notebook stuff. We're gonna come down to the smaller stuff. So I got gel pens. Um, these are like my. Um, black and blue and red pens. So there's two blacks in here, one blue and one red. I'm trying to like get to focus on everything because it's not. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got one of those. Actually, I think I got multiple. Um, yeah, I got two because um, I have, in total, I'll have four black pens, two blue and two red. So that's great. So I got those. And then I got or, or, um, four highlighters, so I got two yellow, one orange, and one pink. And then I got more Expo markers, so I got purple, red, green, blue, and black. And then I got three of the correction tape whiteouts, so I got three of these, yellow, purple, and blue. That's just the shades that are old and be white. Then I got liquid white out um, in case. This thing is so hard to use, like it never works for me. So we got correction white out also, like liquid. So, yep. And then I got my giant thing of pens and I was gonna get a, a bigger one than this, but it was $23 and I was like, $23 for pens? No, maybe that's good, but like, no. So we got these and I get a new set every quarter because I use the pens so frequently that they like just run out. So yeah. So and that's why I have so many pens and no pencils because I don't get pencils. Like I hate pencils. Um, but I do have pencils, obviously. Um, next, I have a pencil sharpener because it was helpful and mine broke. So got a red one. I don't know why I got a red one. I just picked up the first one I saw. Mm, yeah. Then I got um, lead refillers because I have mechanical pencils that I used last year. So and they don't have any lead in them so we got some of that then I got colored pencils because you can never go wrong colored pencils and I always at some point need them and I never remember like to have them so I just have them on me always now then I got mini post-it notes because this is great for annotating like I love my mini sticky notes like I use them all the time so annotating mini sticky notes I got purple pink and orange then after that, by the way, I'm supposed to be leaving for gym in five minutes, but not going to gym today. <laughs> anyway, next thing I got is the I got kid scissors. Um, I don't know, but they fit perfectly, so and I like the colors. So we got scissors because I don't know where my scissors went. I don't. I can't find them. Um. Oh, that's the thing that I brought with me. And the last but not least thing I got was erasers. So. I know this is not the best brand, but it was 49 cents and we're trying to stay like as cheap as possible. So that's everything that we got. I say cheap as possible, but we did not, like we spent a lot of money. So here are old school supplies that I'll be needing for this year. And now it's thumbnail time, so give me a second. All right, thumbnail time's over. Okay, so now I'm going to end this video, start a new one again, and organize this all in my backpack. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys really enjoyed it, if you guys did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time on this side of the world. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.